Hi, I'm Larry Warren. I'm one of the directors at Clear Passage Therapies. We've had some significant results with treating women with high FSH. I was hoping this little video would give you some history and some idea of what we do in that area. FSH stands for follicle stimulating hormone. Every month, a woman's ovaries call on her pituitary gland up in her head to give me some follicle stimulating hormones, help these follicles grow into good eggs. As a woman grows older in her reproductive cycle, the ovaries will call on the pituitary, give me more of that FSH. I need some help here to help these follicles grow. FSH is generally measured on day two to five of a woman's period. When a woman's FSH is above 10, she is considered subfertile or infertile. Often that's the cutoff point for in vitro fertilization. We're just not going to treat you because we're not going to have good eggs there. When we're treating FSH, we're treating not only the ovaries, but we're treating the whole communication loop all the way up into the cranium and the pituitary. Your pituitary gland is the master gland of female reproduction. It is incredibly well protected in this bone that's signified by the yellow paint here. It goes from temple to temple like a beautiful winged bird. Inside your head, you can see where it articulates with all these other bones in that cranium. And the pituitary is right here in this Turkish saddle, it's called, this little fossa, little cave that holds the pituitary gland. We know that cranial bones move slightly. Like continental shelves on the surface of the earth, they don't move dramatically like your leg or your arm would move, but your cranium has to expand and contract about six to eight times a minute in order to pump lubrication down your dura, down your spinal cord to your tailbone and back up again. In most of the patients that we treat with high FSH, we see an asymmetry in the cranial bones and we correct that very gently. If you'll go to a mirror and you'll put your fingers under your two, right at the bone under your ears and let them point toward each other and look in the mirror and see if, are they level or is one quite a bit lower than the other or some lower than the other. If one is lower than the other, then these cranial bones have torsioned some, not allowing the pituitary to follow its normal rhythm, perhaps pulling it out of alignment or pushing a bit on that pituitary gland. All I know is that when we correct that, along with all the work that we do with the ovary and all the way between the two structures, we get the kind of results that we've seen here. Nothing in medicine is shown to improve FSH levels or pregnancy levels in, in women in this population. We had a 39% success rate, a 39% pregnancy rate, and almost all of them were natural, among women who came to us diagnosed subfertile or totally infertile by their physicians, somewhere in menopausal range, and they've had children, more than one child, after we treated them. So that's what we're doing with high FSH. Check it out. Check it out in the mirror. Call us if you have some questions. Thank you.